so the lighting setup is all integrated, and I love that. <laughs> uh, also on my desk you'll see my spare keyboard. Uh, this Razer keyboard is awesome, but it is very, very loud. I've done a typing video with it. You can go see that for yourself. Um, it's very loud. So when I want to be less obnoxious to the people around me, I use my backup keyboard, which has very soft, jelly keys. Um, it's what I used for several years before getting this one, so I'm very used to it. Um, it's a much quieter typing experience. <laughs> so that's pretty much this. Hopefully the close-up shots that I've been giving have been effective. I wanted to show a little bit of cable management, something that I did recently. Uh, you can see my cables all tied up back there. Um, also, you can see on the on the cabinet there is my Xbox controller that I use for some games, um, as well as a power strip that I have lots of things plugged into. I have all this stuff plugs into two different power strips that actually go into the same outlet. It's amazing that I haven't blown something up, but I guess the electrical here is pretty good, so that is okay. Uh, since I am going to be turning this computer off and taking it apart for you guys, uh, I do have my laptop as uh, what this audio is being recorded into, so this cable you see in front of you coming down from this power strip is to my laptop. So let's move closer to the computer. So here is the desktop itself. The computer here is a pre-built computer. It was my first desktop, so I decided to play it safe and just buy it pre-built instead of building it myself. Although I do already have plans to upgrade certain parts in here, which I'll talk about later. But I just wanted to have one big thing that had everything already ready to go. So this is the Lenovo Idea Center Y900 Razer Edition. The Razer Edition doesn't add a lot. Um, I think some of the hardware inside is possibly slightly better than their standard edition, but then it also comes with the mouse and keyboard and the lighting system, plus a Razer Edition like logo thing on it. Either way, um, it was heavily on sale when I bought it. Um, as far as hardware, it has a um, Intel i7-6700K processor, which is not ideal. One of the things that I will be changing uh, within the year probably is I'll be changing the motherboard to support um, 8th gen processors, and then I'll be buying the uh, the i7-8700. Uh, additionally, for the graphics card, I have the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition. So the original NVIDIA card in there, which is fantastic. Uh, I believe 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Um, so with that graphics card and the other hardware, um, you know, it, it plays games pretty darn flawlessly. I really can't complain. Um, so I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, for the hard drive, it has a 2 terabyte, 7200 RPM uh, standard hard drive, and then a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. It is 23.1 pounds, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it shows, but it does have this convenient handhold. Uh, and then, nice for me, because I'm the router is on the other side of the room, is that it has Wi-Fi. Um, it's not that crazy of a thing, but it's a small thing that I appreciate a lot. Uh, it does have a technology that
that supposedly makes your internet connection on this computer better if you use Wi-Fi plus, um, plus LAN. It's called Killer Double Shot Pro, and reading from the website, it says it allows your Ethernet cable and Wi-Fi to work together for faster networking performance. However, that doesn't really matter to me, because my Wi-Fi consistently has um, just shy of 100 uh, megabits per second uh, upload and download, so far faster speeds than I need, um, and the Wi-Fi picks it up just fine. I am just a few feet away from the router, but it is on the other side of the room. So now, we're going to unplug everything and move inside.
down here we have the absolutely massive power supply. I don't really know what to add on about that, but there it is. We have the giant fan here, and of course the fan in the back. Down here you can see the uh, hard drives. I'm actually not 100% sure where the solid state drive is. I don't really see it, but that is the main 2 terabyte hard drive. And then of course we have the motherboard back there, and a whole jumble of wires going to everything. These guys aren't even connected to anything. Um, I believe those are additional um, plugs for more graphics cards. Um, I'm not sure exactly what kind they are, if they're PCIe plugs or what. Um, there we can see that one plugged in. And it looks like there is space for two more graphics cards of this size if I wanted to add those. Um, and we also have two of these plugs that plug into the side. Though it is kind of a mess, it's obviously made for customization because we have two of these guys, but... Uh, and then one standard SATA cable up there. Um, but they're all kind of tied together, so it's a little bit confusing on what they want. I am excited to tear this up, take this apart someday. But yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, I don't know much about the motherboard, except for the fact that it is um, not compatible with 8th generation Intel chips, so I will have to change the motherboard, which is fine. But this motherboard doesn't have a lot of documentation because it's just a Lenovo pre-built one. Like, there's nothing, it's not a consumer one that you can just buy normally. And then back here you have the two large 8GB uh, RAM sticks inserted into the motherboard. And then of course behind this giant fan there is the heatsink the CPU, and of course the CPU itself. Obviously I'm not going to show you that, because that would be a lot of work to take that out. And, um, again, for the RAM, um, there are four slots for RAM. Um, two of them have RAM chips in them, so there's a lot of room for upgrades on this computer. Uh, even with the stock motherboard. So while I would like to upgrade the chip, if I choose not to, there's a lot of room for customization. You know, like I said, up to 32 gigabytes of RAM if I wanted to double the RAM, and up to, I think, two more graphics cards, which one more is already overkill. Adding two more would be extremely overkill. So that won't happen. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm not quite sure. A lot of the stuff going on in here, there's another rack for a, uh, like a disk, disk drive, but I don't think I'll be adding a second one. I um, barely use this one, to be honest. And I believe there's also room for another hard drive, which I don't really need, but uh, it's nice that there is an option for it. Actually, I believe there's room for three more hard drives. There's this space up here, which this SATA cable that you can't really see would go to, I believe. And then this hard drive down here has two more SATA cables and two more bays for hard drives. I actually do have a couple extra hard drives uh, that I could always toss in here if I wanted to, although I'd have to double check that they were compatible, but um, regardless, they're there. Anyways, there's not much more I can say about this. This is a beast of a computer. Um, full price, I think it was $2,500, and I got it for $1,800, which at the time, given graphics cards prices, was pretty good. The graphics card itself, this one at the time, was I think $900 to $1,000 if you wanted to buy it, since it was the cryptocurrency craze. And with all the other parts, it would have been pretty much a break-even if I had purchased all of the parts separately and assembled it myself, which would have been very difficult. So, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I'm going to end it here just because I don't have much else to add to the conversation. If you are more of a computer person, 
please let me know any questions you have about this device, any recommendations you have for adding more to it, and, uh, yeah, leave your comments in the description, or leave your comments in the comment section. Immediately after filming this, I am going to go vacuum the crap out of this thing because there is a lot of dust in it, and I'll keep you posted if I uh, make any updates to it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.